transforming lives, one at a time. How a hardcore criminal turned into a writer. Ramesh, a former convict, exemplifies the transformational power of yoga. Isha's prison yoga programs have helped him leave a life of crime behind and turn over a new leaf. Today, he is well integrated in society and a writer of some repute. It was in 1999 to 2000 when Isha conducted the first yoga programs for convicts in Madurai prison. After a prison official there decided to do something different and offer yoga programs. Within 10 days, there was a remarkable difference in Ramesh's speech, acts, and even looks. Ramesh shared his experience after the program. Sadhguru asked me to be loving towards everybody. But if I am not alert for one moment, people are ready to kill me. So how do I follow his advice? If I take a pledge, I should be able to keep it too. I then took a pledge that I will be loving to whoever is loving to me. While sharing my experiences of the yoga program, I spoke about the change that had happened in my mind. I said, there is a dearth of love, so I surrender myself to yoga. To my surprise, a prison official quoted what I said verbatim and expressed his concern for me. For the first time, I looked at this prison official, whom I had considered my enemy till that day with love. That night, I lost my sleep, and I felt as if Sadhguru was softly speaking into my ears. I never expected my life to change so dramatically after that. I wrote many poems about my life behind prison bars and about my experiences. I earned a good reputation among the prison officials. When I came out of the prison, I went to the Isha Yoga Center in Coimbatore to do the Pavas Bandana program, BSP. I also got initiated into the Shunya meditation. I participated twice in the Mahashivaratri celebrations and longed to go to Kailash with Sadhguru. As I continued doing yoga regularly, my mind became light. The animosity and anger I used to have in me disappeared without a trace. Then came another turning point in my life. I got married. My wife too did the yoga program and now both of us do our practices daily without fail. I realized that once we pick up a knife in anger, letting go of it is very difficult. In this society, how much ever transformation a person accused of an unlawful act undergoes, the way people look at him is very difficult. But all this has happened in my life. When I was 14 years of age, I started going down the wrong path. When I was 28 years old, the Isha Yoga program totally transformed me. The change in me became apparent even when youthful intensity still coursed through my veins. Just a few years back, at the age of 23 years, I had several criminal offenses registered against me and commanded over 60 people. I gave up all that. Now, wherever I go, I do my own work. Another change that I noticed was that I can stay calm even in situations where I feel extremely angry. Earlier, I would have reacted aggressively, but now I can keep calm, and this is possible only because of Isha. My yoga practice and the natural food I eat now have helped immensely. I own a library now, and I have a large photo of Sadhguru there. I strongly believe that I am being guided by him. Now in Madurai, people recognize me as the writer Ramesh. Isha Yoga Program doesn't just transform an individual. It transforms an entire society. I should tell you of an incident that happened to me. Once when I was going on my two-wheeler with my wife and child, a two-wheeler rider came from the opposite direction and hit us by mistake. We fell down, and when I got up and looked at him, I recognized him as he too had undergone the Isha Yoga program. We just looked at each other, laughed, and left the place. If this incident had taken place with somebody else, what would have happened? But instead of aggression, we felt love everywhere and left the spot with a smile. This could happen only because of Isha. If this accident had happened when I was always fighting, a crime would have been committed. If Isha yoga programs could be held more frequently and at many places, then the police would not have any work to do. As an ex-criminal, I can make this statement with confidence. Once, one of my close friends was on the verge of committing suicide because of a betrayal he suffered from somebody close to him. I introduced him to Isha yoga, but at that time, there were no programs happening near Madurai. I consoled him by asking him to read Sadhguru's books until a program happened there. Then I made him go through a program. 
Now, he is fine. Not just him. If I am alive today, it is only because of Isha. From the prisons of India and the United States, we have over 2,000 poems written by the inmates. The moment they start meditating, they burst forth into poetry. Such wonderful poems they wrote, so touching. Their, their suffering and their liberation through meditation, they just express this in so many ways. So even for somebody who lives in a situation like that, it is a tool to live joyously. So for you, it, it will definitely work if you are willing to make use of it. I want to say that you live truly as blissful human beings. It's possible. I know it's possible. If you are willing, you will know it's possible. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss out on any